Hi, my name is Howard Field. I'm from Farm Fromage. Uh, our company uh, works with farmers to help them get more money for their animals' milk, and the way we do it is with wonderful cheeses. Today I'm going to show you how to create a wonderful uh, cheese plate. Uh, typically a cheese plate will have three to five uh, cheeses, and, uh, and then some accompaniments to go along with it. Uh, many times you go from a mild cheese to the strongest cheese in the way that you taste it and it's nice to have cheeses of different animals milk. Today we're putting together a cheese plate that will feature uh, Misty Lovely which is a uh, feta type goat cheese. It pairs very well with our tomato preserves, a little spicy, a little sweet and a little sherry in those tomato preserves. Um, then as we go along we'll uh, add some uh, Welsh Mountain two-year-old cow milk cheddar. Uh, cheddar cheese is crumbly, salty and delicious and pairs very well with either apples or we have some apple butter here from Freecon Farms which is one of our neighboring stands here at the market. Um, from there we'll, we go on to a goat milk I'm sorry, a sheep milk cheese at this point, and that sheep milk cheese is called Tome Du You. Uh, Tome Du You is like a baby Romano, and it pairs very well with a uh, Tuscan fennel sausage that's available here at market from Mali, uh, and their stand is here as well. And then finally, on this plate, we have a uh, blue cheese. It's a Monterey blue. It's a cow milk blue from Lancaster County. Blue cheese is very spicy and very tasty, and so we want to offset that in our accompaniment. So we suggest either pears or a nice sweet uh, Niagara-style wine that you can get from Adello here at market. All right, pretty much it's uh, whatever you like to eat and whatever you think might pair well with it or contrast greatly with it. And uh, try it, you'll like it.